Hi, mate. Hi. Hello, no worries. in your new place you're moving to? Yeah, right, this is this is Susie's bed. Hi. Between here and mine at the moment. How's the new place looking? Um, where's the fight on Saturday? It's actually um, Wednesday, but they don't uh, oh, yeah. on Saturday. Why is that? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure they've got a reason for it. It's in Southampton there. It's because there's um, a UFC card on Saturday night, isn't it? So it'll probably go on before that. His mouth's open because he can't get his head all the way back without his mouth being open. <laughs> no, no, it's done. Is it open? Hello! Hello, man. Hello. Have peas and wine with your girlfriend. Hello. Cheers. Yeah, sorry, I just had my computer muted before. I got lots of emails today, so I've just had my computer muted. How was wine and cheese on Saturday? We went to sleep at four o'clock in the morning. Like the sun was coming up and we went to bed. Amazing. Oh my god, I, we were so rough on Sunday. We ended up cleaning like the whole house top to bottom to like cleanse our sins. <laughs> Not good. How's the house move going? Good. It's kind of hard in between at the moment, we should. Yeah. Well, huh? oh, we're still in the old garage, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. No. Some bad luck, same with the cat. Cool. 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 Um, Ross, were they Brand Union people in that photo? Oh, uh, what's Patrick's second name? Oh, I can't remember his second name, but he runs an academy um, not far from where I'm moving to. Like, I think he runs an academy in Crystal Palace. Oh, uh, got you. Uh, P360? Yeah. Um, I think he's involved with that. That's okay. Ed who runs P360. All right. Edge from the same gym as Patrick. Okay. This one, but I don't Patrick's. Um, Megan, basically, I drove past the park in Dulwich the other day, and there was like six people like rolling, all in their geese on mats. 
um, which is obviously massively against the rules, but they were, just, I guess, just like, fuck it. <laughs> I went for an legal leave. I just actually came back from an illegal role with a couple of other guys from my gym. <laughs> nice. From sneaky roles. Yeah. <laughs> I'd reverse sneaky over illegal. Yeah, that's, that's, I think it sounds less naughty, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you've seen the videos of Soho over the weekend, I think Jiu-Jitsu should be allowed. Yeah, that was wild. Mental. But also, like, no one lives in Soho. Like, I don't know anyone who can afford to live in Soho. So all of those people yeah. must have caught public transport in as well. Yeah. I just, I feel like I've really not taken advantage of living in London. Like, I'm really excited for when everything lifts. Like, I'm going to go to Fabric. I'm going to go to Ministry of Sound. I'm going to go to Works. Like, I can't wait to spend £10 on a bowl of water. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to so. Works yet. I really enjoyed spending, like, a five or coffee again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something that is just just makes me feel <laughs> <laughs> just makes you feel like an accomplished city man. Yeah. So like, this is okay. I can't wait to see you get your oats in the morning and eat them on the mats when we're doing seven AM rolling on a Wednesday. You're doing seven AM roll? Yeah, well I teach the um seven AM Class, don't I? So you're going to be so late now, now that you live in Hearn Hill. You're, just, you're never going to be on time. None of the managers are in at that time. So I can do pretty much what I want. <laughs> it's, 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 just the, it's just a sparring class. Steve does like loads of techniques every morning. So on the Wednesday, it's just this, just the sparring. It's my favourite class of the week. Do you like that? Yeah, it's great. Who uh, wasn't that? It was bitch something, wasn't it? Um, bitch brawl. Bitch brawl. That's it. Flavia, you, um, Sophie, <coughs> and Sarah. It's, uh, it was epic. Like I, I just leave them get on with it. <laughs> they don't want to get involved. <laughs> Scary. Flavia yeah. and Sophie are particularly bad. Like, I feel like I make everyone chill out a little bit. But if you just let Flavia and Sophie just go, there would be blood. Yeah. <laughs> well, you <yeah. laughs> What are we learning this week, Ross? I'm coming. I'm learning. You're not learning your teaching. Give me your foot. Give me your foot. It's not what you're going to say, Pilatus, is it? Yeah. They're going to listen to me. So I watched the Keenan video. He says, the blade of your wrist. I couldn't disagree more. Um, I think you finished them with the meat of your arm. Yeah. So, like what we did last time, we go deep. Meet the hand uh, of the of our forearm. We want we don't want to see any space there. What I find happens here. This is okay, provided that you're already leading back and kicking away off the hip. So that's a big part with application of footbox as well. Is looking to um, kick your opponent's hips away from you, to really straighten the leg. It's hard to finish a footbox on a bent leg. Um, so this work providing that there's tension there. So now she can't really escape her foot because of the tension and the lean. That's the blade. Personally, I prefer burying my forearm all the way to the meat of my forearm and crease of my elbow. I want to get my hand as high up my chest as possible, almost trying to get my thumb like facing that way. Yeah. Now, the application, there's lots of grips you can take, but you, all, what, what's uh, common with all of them is keeping your hand high. So if you shimmy around, yes, yes, yes. 
So you really want to keep your hand as high as possible. Hand low, you lose a lot of control of your foot. So hand comes really high up on your chest here. Foot on the hip. You're going to start falling down onto the side of the foot is on here. So now we're going to finish by kicking the hip away and at the same time forcing our shoulder through our opponent's toes. So that's going to pull the toes back. So kick the hip. And there's a decent application. So bury it. I like controlling the knee so I can this leg in the position here. If you're controlling just down by the foot without your feet on the hips, they can start turning and sort of, if they turn that way, now it's hard for me to finish the foot. Whereas if I keep hold of the knee before I get the control with my heels and my knee on the hip, if she tries turning away, this is way harder for her to try and run now and get this foot out. So don't wrap this up like this before your feet are in the right position. Control low by the ankle and control above the knee. Foot on the hip, knee comes in, we're gonna make contact with your other heel. Here, now I can let go of that knee and take a different grip if I want. From here, I wanna kick the hip away, stretching that leg out, and I fall onto my shoulder, drop in my armpit through her toes to finish. So meet of your arm snags, the heel, and now if you shimmy this way, please. <laughs> My shoulder drops down, you see, it hits the toes. So I'm kicking away there. I want this now traveling down as my hand comes up. She raises her hips to take pressure off. That's why I've got to control the hips. So I can stay here, do a really good application. Susie's able to raise her hips. It doesn't come on. So I keep the hips down. Sometimes what you'll see, it's very easy to clear this foot off the hip. So what people will do in the application is take this lower leg out and put it onto the hip here. This allows you to kick away, again, kicking the hip away, and still hitting the finish. The downside to that is if Susie manages, push this foot off the hip here, now I'm in quite a bit of trouble. She's going to leg drag me and start countering uh, my footlock. I've got nothing on her hip to kick away, so my footlock's quite a bit weaker here. So what she will do if this foot is clear is heel to her butt and knee on the ground and start turning this way. Get up now onto your knee. And she'll leg and circle it backwards into a leg drag position. So, only go to switch this foot with this foot if you know you're gonna get it, right? You don't wanna be doing this immediately and our opponent pops that foot off, heel to butt, up, now here. You see, as soon as he's um, got a foot in the foot, yeah, best not to put your foot flat, come back. So keep weight up off of my hips. So I'm not pinned here, and there's a chance I can turn back in and recover the position. What Susie wants to do here, finish this leg drag, is to make sure my knee stays past her hip. So she's gonna be pulling this that way. And I'm gonna do my damnedest to turn back in, come back in. I don't want to switch in. So as soon as you switch to like a palm push there, you want to be cupping and pulling this elbow to the hip. So now I'm going to try turning into you, pull this hard past that way. So we should be around so you can see Susie's foot work. So I've got onto a foot. I fall around my side and we start looking at it. She pushes this foot off the hip. I've lost, so now I can't kick away from her hip now. So I extract this leg, put it on her hip, and I'm going to kick that hard to apply the foot lock. So as soon as he pushes this off, 
Heel bounce up, you know. Heels to a butt. This is the only way you can get up here. You don't want to get up onto a flat foot like this. It's not very efficient at all. So heel comes to your butt, and with the knee, there. Good. So now see if he's going to lean forwards up onto the knee, keeping this leg as straight as possible. There. I'm going to be doing my downwards to turn in, and she's going to be pulling this back. No, 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 no. What she did wrong there was her foot hit the ground again. So it's got to stay floating as she's pulling this back. And now she's going to drag this heel backward. You see what this does? It pulls this hip down. So she's going to pull this knee past. She's going to continue kicking this back. And now she's in a leg drag. Doesn't matter if I cross my legs here and try and hold on to this leg. All she'll do is sprawl, which will break the control I have on that leg. And she'll take my back. So see if you're going to take my foot for this one. Yeah, she's going to crease to the elbow, which is nice. And then she's going to bring her hand like flat up on her chest like that. Heel on the hip, knee connects to the heel. The bit she's missing currently is the kick away on the hip, right? So she's going to kick my hips away, nice. Same time, she's going to drag her shoulder back to my toes and she's kicking hard with this, that's all. That's a nice finish. If she wants a bit more power or I start disrupting this, she's gonna put this foot on the hip here. And now she's gonna kick with this leg, kick, 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 kick. Good. So kick harder with this. Go, nice. So whenever I see this, you clear the foot off your hip, heel to your butt, and now make sure this stays dragged past you. She can try to apply the foot lock as hard as she wants you to apply it. It's not going to come on because she's not kicking my hips away. So I clear the foot, heel to my butt, and I start turning, coming up onto my knee. She is still going to be trying to turn in and getting this foot back on to your hip to kick back again. And so if she gets this back here and this foot up as well, she's going to be kicking hard with both feet and she can still finish it. So don't get lazy when you come up. Make sure that when you come up, you're still pulling these legs past you like this. Don't just be like dip, 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 and allow them to get their feet one and the other one up onto the hip. She will still finish this. She uses strong legs. She's going to kick hard with her feet, kicking the hip away. Now weight is up off of that leg, and then she'll drive up looking to finish it. So. So make sure this stays past your hip. There. Try getting back in there. Right. So from here, to get out of this position, I've got to. You can reach down and grab the elbow and open it. But if she does start turning back into you, I want this hand going straight back up to controlling this leg, making sure it stays past your hip. So if they're holding on to this tight, cut the elbow, open it, and now start kicking your leg along the plane of the floor to circle your leg out. You've got to take your arm out right there. So from here, drag the leg backwards, and we're finishing our leg drag. Any thoughts, guys? Um, when Susie's got her feet like back on your hips before you do that leg drag, are you only just focused on getting the leg drag or is there a point if she lifts her hips up that you would try and extend the legs, try and avoid her retaking the position? No, it's really hard to do the, um, the boot on escape there. Okay. When she's got control over your hips like that. So if she gets her feet back onto my hips, I'm pulling those feet off. It doesn't matter okay. Cool. She's up, she falls down onto her side. So she can finish here. She's screwing up the angle a little bit. No, no, actually, we went the wrong way. So what I find best to get in the correct angle here to finish the foot lock is I lift my hip up off the ground a little bit and base on my head. So that's it, good, and that's on. So foot locks are largely about alignment 
as well. So you want everything in a straight line. Currently, her body's twisted a little bit. So my foot's twisted and she's not getting a straight foot lock application. So to get the alignment correct, she'll use her head as a base, lift her hip up the floor by that, that much. And now the alignment's there. Now that's on. Whereas if she stays here and tries to extend, it's like no wind or bad. Okay? So I clear this. Susie will switch this foot onto here. And now she'll kick away hard. And there's the finish. So when this comes on, you'll have a very brief moment to pull this by. Now, from here, you don't want to be reaching for the foot or anything. You want to be getting up, getting your hip side to take pressure up off the foot. Heel to your butt, knee onto the ground, cup in the knee, always. To make sure she's unable to get her feet back onto your hips. She will be trying to turn into me, getting that foot back here and getting the other one on. And now she'll kick hard, making that leg light and hip up through it and finish there. Go, go, go. So I want to keep everything past me here. Once I'm in, I'll cup the elbow. And now I'm controlling the knee with my shoulder instead, back in my tricep. So now she tries turning in, I turn to get that knee back in front. It's difficult because of how low I am. Pull it open, straighten the leg, circle backwards. If she tries locking her legs up here, which sometimes people do, just scroll hard through your left hip. So kick this leg backwards, or force them to open. Now you can start moving around. Side controls, or looking to take the back. So, yeah, that was just some footlock application stuff and some straight footlock defense. Uh, so what, sorry, why do you think um, Keenan likes the blade rather than the knee? I don't know, but like, certainly it's not, not for me. There's multiple ways of, of doing it, I guess, but. Yeah, um, I find there's too much movement on the leg. And harder, harder to control than the ankle as well, right? Yeah, that's why. That's, that's that's what I find. I find it's more yeah. painful myself to finish it as well. So yeah, I definitely prefer um, meat at the arm over blade and wrist. Okay. Um, right. So we can jump to. So I'm standing for lock defense and drill here. We always want to. I want you guys to be able to teach these to people. Now you see Susie's leaning back. It's really she doesn't want to be doing that. She wants to be sitting up on her hips like this. Now it's, her hands are a lot closer to her hips to clear um, the feet. And she got me. She's also got control so over her hips. So if she's leaning a long way back, and I ask her to raise her hip. It's hard, right? See? Whereas if she's sitting upright here, she puts her hand on the floor and she raises her hips, so she's a lot more mobile when you get up. You don't want to be like ever laying back. The moment you see somebody doing this, a bit of trouble. So, as soon as she pops the foot up off the hip and now she raises her butt and then drops it to the other side of my foot. I can still look to invert the position and bring this other leg across onto the hip so there's still a bit of risk. Well, to make herself totally safe, she will control my knee briefly with the other hand and pummel this leg inside. It's a way easier way of doing that. So she's just brought her foot in. That can be a bit difficult. She's going to circle the leg in, so circle. Once this leg is inside mine, her knees will drop down together. Once her knees are together, she's fine. Because I can't get her hips to kick, uh, to kick away in order to finish the footlock. Same with heel hooks. 
So you see, so I think I'm that Gary Tonin sometimes will allow his foot to get wrapped up. So wrap it up in a foot park here. And what does he do to protect it? This knee comes here. So as soon as he can't get um, her feet on my hips, it's going to be really difficult from there. Even if she sits down, now she sits down. I've got both my feet are inside. My hips are protected. Try finishing it. Super hard with this knee in. Correct? Right? Yeah. Okay. Susie tried to hurt me. I thought I was going to sport. Yeah. Oh, you know, not meant to hurt. You meant to get cold. Yeah, so always if you can get your knees connected and this foot is taken, then it's not really a great deal to worry about, to be honest. You clear the feet if they do come up on your hips, but just this one foot won't be enough for her to get uh, control on the hip to finish it. So if you do end up in single leg X here, your job is to end up in that double knee connected position. So foot up. Off over, make sure this hand blocks the knee from uh, from getting to the hip or her inverting. Circle your leg in and put your knees together. Once you're there, you're cool. And really, they'll probably let go of the footlock if they continue to try to apply it. Just continue to circle. They'll get bored, they'll give up, and then you can start looking to go from there. So as she feels it, knees connected. Yeah. I can't get my feet into the correct position to finish. Feel feel, feel the feet off. Not good. You see. So if it does feel like it's coming on, she'll lift her hip up a little bit and it'll come on. Yeah. So you're always looking to pummel that little leg in. Get my foot through. Standing up is still a reasonable thing to do here as well. So, if our opponent falls back, we do want to take advantage of um, top position. So, if they fall back before they turn to the side, we want to be coming up and standing on that leg. The way we come up, um, again, foot. We're not planted on the floor. Heel is tucked up, up. As she falls backwards, we come up onto this knee. And there's always blocking this foot. What we don't want is for it to shoot across our knee and see if we can then start looking to get under our heel for heel hooks. And remember the application there, guys. Susie here, her elbow is wide and her forearm is horizontal. So she's going to bring her elbow close to her rib cage instead. As a, a, into an uppercut. No, 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 that's awful. So, we covered this last, last week. Horizontal forearms, no good, like this, for application of heel hooks. Susie wants to have her elbow connected to her rib cage. Now it's coming on. So, vertical forearm, and if she wants then to punch her hand up to the ceiling, you know, come on. Further that elbow's away from the ribs, the worse your heel hook is. The more kind of hor uh, horizontal that forearm is, the worse. So she can't heel hook me if my heel isn't exposed. So she keeps this foot on my, uh, she's going to throw this leg across my hip in order to expose it. We make sure that this is the first thing we deal with, pushing back. <laughs> that, keep it off of us. C grip on the shin there, where the shin connects to the ankle. High is no good. Can grab the foot, but people kind of kick out of that. I like going C grip connected where uh, to her ankle. She will try to put this back, so be careful there. You can stand up, but also makes it quite a bit harder for her. So stand, push this off, and make sure this hand is ready to stop it from getting thrown over again. Up again. 
if this leg is lazy, we will toe hold it, so should it. And so if this leg pops out and is floating here in front of you, it's just horrific on through this. Toes and link your finger of four here. So you see defense is what? Anyone got it? To tap? Uh, kick the leg straight and put the boot on at the same time. You can't toe hold a straight leg. So it pops up again. So anytime somebody grabs hold of your toes in a, in a straight foot butt, they need to bend your leg to finish, uh, in, uh, sorry, in the top, but they need to bend your leg to finish it. So, when you see anybody playing with your toes like this, just straighten your foot. Tayan and Fion had a bit of a toe hold battle over the weekend. Who did? Tayan. Did they? I missed it. And Fion at Grapple Fest, yeah. They were like going at each other at the same time. How was, how was the match? Was it fun? It was really, really good. It was amazing. Yeah, um, she's a she's a fucking beast though. Which one? <laughs> Tayan. I mean Fion as well, but like Tayan's just like Oh man, she came down to visit the club once and uh and she was practicing double le double legs on um uh, we it was our private. Yeah, do you remember that? Just slamming the, whoever it was around, it was awful to watch. <laughs> like Tayan is how how heavy is Tayan? She's over a hundred for sure. Yeah. 110 when it was like one of those cartoons, you know, when they like they like get the leg of a cartoon character and just like slam them about. It's hilarious. If she makes Max look small and she was doing double legs on Max and went holding back and like fucking hitting him and no. I feel like Max needs to do that. I was I it, it was funny. It was pretty immense. Just like boom. <laughs> So, yeah, don't ever leave this foot dangling out. Yeah, no good. Toe hold. To finish the toe hold, bend your leg again. So we link, and what we're going to do now is step this way, bring the toes to a butt, and at the same time, peeling the heel up. So I'm bringing the heel up in a circle, outside the line of her hip and knee, and that's where we'll get the finish. So please be careful in keeping your foot Safe, tuck underneath your opponent's leg here. So we push this foot off. Commonly what will happen is people will switch now to an X guard on the back leg. A reverse X or a standard X. So Susie's gone reverse X. You do a standard X on me please, so just switch the keeper. So we, we can step over this. We can step this foot up if you, sometimes in this position, you'll notice your opponent is eased up on the tightness of the foot button, of that control. And they focus kind of more on kicking your back leg away. So if you're standing and you already notice that, you pick your leg straight up to your chest. So this knee, that's how you extract it. So here, to extract this if it's loose, knee up to your chest and hot water. And now you can step out. So if you notice that loosens up, so if it's tight, what you're going to have to do is pick this foot up. So here, and then you're going to circle the leg. So up. And now from here, it's more likely her knees will be open. Up and circle over that shin. So and again. Up. Up, balance on two. Toes pointed, and now these toes are going to circle. So follow me a little bit. So, so this is going to follow the X. As I step, there's the follow. I circle over the shin, and now it's got nothing. We're past it. So X again. So here, we step up, circle the leg, and we're through. 
So really try following me now. They're sticky. Susie flares her toes. Ah. We're out. Nice little drill. You feel that the foot lock loosens up, you pick that and out. Work. So as long as you're ready to step, you feel the control loosen on her arm or the feet. Yeah. If she tries kicking you away, you can use your hands to face to start falling. But we always want to be trying to get her weight back over her. You can drop to this knee and square up here. Can make it difficult for her to finish sweeps, forcing her to switch to a single leg X again. Remember, always protect your hip and now you can stand again. Once you stand, push the foot off, she switches to an X, then up. Circle here. You can go to a reverse um, knee on belly. So if she's still holding on to that foot, you're going to drop that knee down and then switch the other knee. They will let go. That foot is pretty useless there now. So drop back for a foot block or in single leg out. <laughs> You always want a test with my fingertips. Can touch that back leg and widen this hand. Good. She steps closer. Then you're able to grab that, she's gone. Come back again. If I do catch it, she steps out of it though. Remember, that's it. So now I can't be taking it. And the step's very important. She brings the knee up to her chest first and then steps back. Come back again. She doesn't try kicking back, but there she's kicking forwards, killing my grip, and step back. Now she knows to worry about this. If you get reaped, guys, very important to go with the reap, right? So we've all sparred with new white belts, and they're just throwing their legs around in weird positions. Um, it's important that we know how to deal with a reap when it does happen. So this is probably the most common read. Outside leg coming across the hip. You go with it. The one thing that can cause you trouble when you're going with it is this other leg hooking your back leg. So Susie will grab, will push down on the foot. Yeah. Normally with this hand. So now she's cleared this and she's now going to continue to turn with the read, but making sure that the knee Ends up outside of my legs, just there, and now that's fine. She'll continue to turn around the corner with this left hand reaches the underhook on the far side, and now she's past me. So yeah, if you see a reap coming in, guys, turn with it, protect your knee, and make sure you're clear the back leg control. Very important what I mean. So if somebody does something stupid, throws this across, go with it, make sure that I'm not controlling it, and you're fine. Then you can tell your opponent after not to do that. Oh, really good. Um, but defend it first. No if she pops the foot up off the hip, if this foot is sticky, she can do something to make it less sticky. So currently it's sticky because there's a contour in her body. You see? There. So what you can do is take that contour away by shimmy, by like uh, doing a hip wiggle. You see how she's driving that hip forward? So now there's no contour. And it's, it's really hard to hold. So show your hip. Pop it. Yes. A slight side on stance also helps. Yeah, that's essentially pop the hip. Pop the hip, and you can hit that. So, she does it one last time, pops it, and we switch to an X guard. To kill, is sometimes you'll see my top arm is loose. So if you feel that, pop water, and then you pass it back in, please. If this is a bit tight, you don't feel like this can come out, 
the other knee comes to the chest, straight up now, and circles through and steps to the chest last. Normally in this position, you want to hold on to my foot, just pushing it away from you. I'm still holding on to this, drop this knee in to me, and now put the other knee on the stomach, and then kick this back. I'll let go. Pop. X. Good. And then me and kick back. Good. And kick back. How does that feel about that? It's, it's, it's something that you've got to practice a lot of. Um, just to balance and getting used to circling. I like feet. this one. Yeah, this one works a treat when you get it. It took me a little while though. So, yeah, tricky for you. I might just be not very good and everyone will get it really quick. Um, what happens when they do um, swap their eggs? It doesn't work as well, does it? Um, so, we know exactly what they're going for. Yeah. Good. There you go. I feel really uncomfortable trying to pick it out. I know they're going for a leg lock. Yeah. So, yeah, Susie. Susie won't work. I, I tend to put my um, hands on the floor. Your head. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And keep this leg up as high as possible. But there are counter back ticks. So if your opponent shoots for this leg, just make sure that you now see as they're shooting. If Susie brings this knee through this hole, she's not no 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 right there. She's actually in a in a pretzel ball. She's gonna drop this knee down to my hip and then roll over this shoulder. Go. And now uh, take this back. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have no idea what I was doing. I know. So, yeah, you've got to be. Uh, it's a nice little counter back there. So as I'm elevating this, I want to kick this leg through and get the knee behind Susie's knee. So all Susie's going to do is that. Now, drop you reach your knees and drop this shoulder up. So really, when you're on the bottom and you swap your X, Really, your only opportunity is like is momentary as they as you as you brought their leg back towards you. You have to get that leg lock quickly, otherwise it's easy for them to get out. And it's the usual thing, you know. If this, if you put in single leg X, and I identify that I'm in single leg X, so you're trying to elevate my back leg with that yeah. hip. I'm probably going to offend it. Whereas if you're throwing me about in single leg X, threatening get up and stuff like that. Okay. I've got to throw my weight forward and then you get it and it's, it's chaining things together. The other thing with, with this is it's quite easy to um what else do you think? Sorry, my thought process you can You can hot water out of the, the front one as well. So if I'm like obsessed with the back leg, I might be easing up a bit on the front. Steps out, and then that's really annoying for the guy in the bar. You don't want to step the foot somewhere where I can grab it again. So, as soon as you're going to want to step this out and step it back a long way. So, out and I've stepped back so as I can't reach it, and now she can pass that again. But yeah, that's quite a, a fun back kick. And I'm able to talk. So, I talk Susie through it. She's going to do it again. She's going to put her hands on the floor. 
I'm going to reach as I shoot. There's the knee. This knee comes in. And she pinch your knees here now. So there's that knee pinch. So she rolls. Move my back. I've, um, I've definitely shown better all of those before. Yeah, I find that's probably one of the easier ones. There was one that we were doing just before lockdown where you, I, you kind of ended up like almost like straight legging on top of your partner and then I can't remember how we did it, but it was taking me forever to try and get my head around it. Yeah, I'll admit, there's like, these aren't moves that I, uh, I think that will make me ground just, And I'm still, hitting one of these back takes clean is hard. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, that's um, uh, 8.45. Hopefully, we won't be doing this very much longer. The gym will be open. Fingers crossed. It'll be so fucking good. We'll be rolling at Brockwell Park. At Brockwell Park as well. Because when do they have an idea of like when the gym is going to be open, but there won't be any? Yeah, I think we'll be going to be drilling on dummies for for a little while. Um, hopefully, hopefully when September hit, it will be uh, with, with like vaccines or something. Or I don't know. Mm. Fingers crossed. It feels like there's, like in the US, there's lots of infections, but not so many um, deaths. So maybe yeah. we're getting free in it. I don't know. I think everyone's quite concerned about there being like a bad flu season coupled with another spike, you know, like in like October, November would be just horrendous. But fingers crossed they find a vaccine. But yeah, a hell of a lot of money going into it. So yeah, that's the one thing we can um, we can take encouragement from, right? Is that this is affecting a lot of rich people? Yeah. So yeah, everyone gives a shit about this one. Yeah. Um. Wicked. Thank you. Go Love you all. Thanks, mates. Good See luck, you guys. Right. We can see you next week, champ. Bye. Bye. Bye.